Welcome to the demonstration of library management system. The system helps to maintain details of the books and also order for the same. The system also helps to keep track of books issued and returned by the students and with the help of this information it helps to calculate the fine. The main purpose of this library management system is to reduce the manual work and for the smooth flow of library activities. Now let's have a look into the system. The first one is admin. Enter the ID, password. So these are the options available for the admin. Let's enter the first. See the first option that is add books. First one is the book ID. And the next is book name. and the quantity so here the message is shown that the information is being inserted successfully next is book search here you just, you just need to enter the book id which you want to search So the information of that particular book is being shown. That is the book ID, title, author name, cost and quantity. Next one is book update. Here you, here you just need to enter the book ID which you want to update. For example, you want to update this. Click on edit. Then suppose you want to edit the quantity available. Just click on update. So now click on search, you can see the quantity is being updated from 8 to 10. Now view order, your the order is shown and for example if you want to see order for some other book then you can search here like um, Here the book name will be displayed. Select the author name. Click on search. Here there are no orders for this particular book, so the so the total number of order is zero. For example, if you want to search for some other book. So here you can see there is one order on this book. So here it is showing total number of order is one. Now let's go to the student module. First one is a book search. Here all the books available will be displayed. And if you want to search for a particular book, you can enter the name of the book here. Secret agent. Just select the author name and then click on search. So that particular book information will be displayed here. Next is date info. If the student want to, whoever is logged in want to view the date information for the book that he has issued just click on search and the date will be shown that is issue date and expiry date then click on calculate fine here there is no fine because the expiry date is same as the current date next is the return book here the information is, is being displayed that is the book the student has issued so just click on return so that particular information will be deleted and if the student wants to place order it can just have to type the book search book name click on search select the book name and select the author name 
then the rest information will be displayed then click on place order order is being placed that's it thank you